2012. This is part 7 of the RC Beginner's Guide to Nitro Cars. In this part, I'm going to be talking to you about how the vehicle works. I'm going to be talking to you about the central transmission, dog bones, how the four-wheel drive system works, the fuel intake, and the fuel tank, and finally the electronic system. Let me get the camera in my hands so we can show you more and more inputs and more information at a closer range. And then here we are above the vehicle and the first thing is I would say here is our engine. This is pretty obvious. Now on the engine here you have this part. It is called the bell gear. And this is the output part for the engine, which actually provides the power to the bell gear. This is the spur gear here. That is the bell gear. The bell gear is the part that provides the power to the spur gear. Now, as the bell gear turns, this turns the spur gear. And out of this spur gear area, the spur gear is attached to this central differential gearbox. Now, this gearbox has on it not only the brakes, but it also has two outputs. The outputs, there is one at the rear, or heading to the rear, a dog bone here, which leads to the back gearbox. Coming out of the back gearbox, you have one dog bone. These are thin tubes or uh, alloy things here are called the dog bones. And you also have one on the other side. That is for the rear wheels. And also coming out of this side, you're heading towards the front of the uh, vehicle. You have uh, more dog bones coming in to the front differential box. Uh, these ones also have two dog bones coming out of them going to the other two wheels. This makes your four-wheel drive system work. And therefore, if you turn one wheel... All of the wheels turn. This is how it should be. Now, let's get to other things on the vehicle. Of course, you have your fuel tank. Now, how does the fuel consumption work? Now, the fuel consumption on RC vehicles relies on the engine itself. Now, this works by uh, you have one tube coming out of the exhaust here down the back. You have one tube coming out of the exhaust here. This blows out a tiny proportion, about 10% of the output air going in, back into the fuel tank. This means that the pressure builds up back into the fuel tank so that the fuel is forced back out of the tank, out another outlet on the tank, and then goes into the engine. And that is a repeat process. As the engine runs, it creates more air pressure, therefore fills the exhaust. 10% of that goes back into the tank, which pushes it out again. It's basically a recycling and repeated process all the way through. Next, how does your RC vehicle work? Well, the, the uh, electronic system... Now, the throttle and the steering is powered by servos. Now, in order to power the servos, you need batteries. Now, as you can see on all RC vehicles, there is a special the designated area. Here, it is this part here, and this part has the batteries in. Normally, there are two clips. These have been removed for video purposes only. If you remove the uh, cover, you can see in here we have some batteries. Now, likewise, there is a switch, as on there, there is also a switch on your transmitter. Now, if you turn this on, and then you turn on your receiver, you can see these are the servos. Now, the servos are these two things here. This, this is a servo here. This is the throttle servo. You can see that this is attached to the engine. And this part here is the steering servo. This powers your steering. Now, if you can see, on the transmitter, when I accelerate, you can see the carb is opening. 
likewise on the steering on this part here as I'm turning the steering the steering is turning now that is how your electronic system works that is a very simple and this is a, probably the most essential part because without that you would not be able to accelerate or steer your RC vehicle so that is about all you need to know really for now those are some basic parts and basic things on your RC vehicle that you need to know about so once again I did not go into a huge amount of details because I do not want to crowd you in with too much information but I told you the essential things that you essentially need to know. I didn't want to tell you too much because then you would just be like ah, ha, 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 with all the information. So enjoy your time with your RC vehicles, check out the upcoming episodes and enjoy them. Thank you very much for watching, enjoy your time and stay tuned.